We're here with David Wood to talk about IFF's Mastering Oil and Gas Key Performance Indicators course. David, can you give us an overview of the structure of the course and what type of topics it covers? Yes, okay, well, uh, the course covers and uh, addresses performance uh, along the whole of the oil and gas uh, supply chain. It looks at the upstream, the midstream and the downstream um, areas of the industry and it looks at uh, a wide range of key performance indicators financial, non-financial, addressing safety, environment and community. Um, it, the reason why key performance indicators uh, are, are important is that if you don't measure something it's uh, very difficult to, to manage it. So there's these sayings of uh, um, what you measure you, can imp uh, you have the ability to improve. Um, these are very true uh, and the aim of uh, the course is to identify what uh, essentially can uh, be managed and the benefits of those measurements. To give you uh, a, an idea of what is covered in the course, first day of the course covers uh, the, the key performance indicators that are important, that are appropriate to measure. So uh, to, just to list uh, some of those, it addresses to start with why key performance indicators uh, are important. What are the key financial um, uh, performance indicators and the reasons why different companies uh, measure them? Non-financial key performance indicators and the reasons why they're important. And those non-financial ones really are important in the oil and gas sector. Cost uh, uh, key, P, uh, key performance indicators. Again, looking at the upstream sector, the midstream and the downstream, different key performance indicators are appropriate there. And uh, at the end of the first day, we'll look specifically at community, employee, and um, the um, HSE key performance indicators. Day two, we're going to focus more on how these key performance indicators are applied. And to start with, we're going to look at um, a range, a peer group of large international oil companies and medium and small size companies and look at their performance over the last couple of years and look at trends and compare them. So a little benchmarking using real data from the, the published reports of these companies. We're also going to look at the national oil companies and uh, uh, how their performance uh, is evaluated with key performance indicators. We're going to look at the downstream sector and refining particularly and also the gas supply chain. And we're going to finish off on day two looking at the key performance indicators uh, for strategic portfolio management. Most oil and gas companies have a portfolio of assets, many assets spread around the world. They want to measure the performance of those assets as a individual asset on an individual asset basis, but they also want to measure them on a portfolio basis and corporately. So there are many dimensions to key performance indicators and I think uh, that uh, uh, by looking at first of all which ones are appropriate and then how they are, are applied you should leave the course with a good understanding of the key performance indicators that are relevant in the industry. What are the practical benefits for someone attending this course? Well the, the course focuses on a wide range of key performance indicators the financial, the non-financial, the environmental, the safety and the community and how they are applied. Um, you'll gain uh, uh, an insight into how to perform benchmarking and gap analysis and also you'll learn how to measure performance for large companies, small companies, national oil companies and some of the service sector companies as well. This course covers some topical issues. Why is now an important time to learn about key performance indicators? Well, many oil and gas companies are uh, under pressure to demonstrate growth and superior performance to their peer groups. And uh, uh, there is heightened uh, uh, scrutiny by regulators on environmental uh, uh, safety uh, performance. So reporting uh, performance and showing improving trends in those areas uh, uh, are something that companies are, are really need to do and improve uh, on what they've done previously. And as we come up to uh, year-end reporting, uh, this is when it, the companies each year do the analysis of their previous year's performance. So, uh, you know, there is a, a, a more um, a, a priority to actually deliver the measurements um, in time for those year-end reports. What type of person will benefit most from this course? 
Well, this course should appeal to quite a wide range of professionals, um, operations, strategic, um, commercial, technical, financial, planning and portfolio management uh, professionals, all of those involved in measuring performance within their organisation should benefit from this um, uh, course. Also, managers that are interested in uh, understanding how to measure, analyse and respond to uh, performance benchmarking, they should also uh, get some benefit from this course. How is the content of this course presented? Well, the, the material is presented uh, in, in a way that avoids the use of complex financial and technical uh, jargon, so it's in, uh, in common language that uh, should be easy to understand. The material covered uh, is balanced between PowerPoint presentations, exercises, case studies, uh, with some videos uh, 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 associated with those case studies. So the whole course is presented in an informal way and it's designed to be interactive promote discussion, uh, encourage participation. Finally, what are, what are the three main take-home benefits of attending this course? Well, firstly, this course is going to give you the uh, opportunity to understand how uh, to measure performance amongst a peer group of companies and how to measure trends in performance. But secondly, it's going to give you insight in how to use performance measurements for benchmarking. And thirdly, it's going to uh, provide uh, examples of how to present uh, uh, key performance indicators and those trends uh, to, uh, in various circumstances. Great. Thanks for your time, David.